Marcos. Uh, if I may explain my vote, Mr. President. No, no question that has been posed before me and before this chamber has forced me to make so profound and thorough ex an examination of my conscience. During the deliberations of the RH bill, many approaches were made to me by members of my family, friends, friends in the clergy and lay community who I love and whose opinion I hugely respect. But I come at this question from a very simple point. In my experience in public service, it became clear to me, after being witness to the agony and the hardship of young women and men, when they find themselves in a situation they are ill-prepared and often ignorant of, we must do something for them. And it, was from, and it was from this that I promised that I would do anything that I could to improve the pathetic and heart-rending state of affairs. The RH Bill is just such an opportunity. So I grab that opportunity with both hands and vote yes to the passage of the RH Bill.